Hey guys, Bunny here, and welcome back to 60 Parsecs. When we last left off, I believe we had just taken, I forgot her name now, to another expedition, and we were left with, warning, we have a breach. The ship is about to be contaminated. I'm engaging all the energy emer emergency protocols available, but my efforts appear to be useless. This contamination cannot be avoided. You have to protect yourself, Captain, before it's too late. Now, if you are not aware, my mask is actually technically broken, I think, so I'm not sure if the mask will work, but I think we'll give it a shot. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, and I think that's all we can do. I think crafting is happening. No, it's not. Uh, should we craft a battery? Yes, yes. Let's craft a battery and let's go. Wait, is anyone like starving? You're, s you're weak, but you're just hungry. You're just hungry. Okay, let's go. I crafted the battery in one day. I didn't check that. Interesting. Don't know why Starlog didn't pop up. The extraterrestrial contamination was no match for the Astro Citizen issued environmental mask. Quarantine and protocol will be executed at your earliest convenience, Captain. So we just lost the mask. Uh, it was already broken, so I didn't think we could use it anyway. Uh, it is the CBU breaking to report that the air filter in the mask is now spent, rendering it unusable. Perhaps you should find or make another in case a similar crisis occurs in the future. Look, I'm quite alert. Uh, yeah, it's, it's fine. We're starving. That's about it. Okay. Can we craft another mask? No. We can upgrade the communicator, maybe? That could be interesting. Uh, and what's our thing? So one of the robotic denizens of this planet is eager to test himself against you, Captain. He's letting you make a choice between a test of wits or physical prowess to pr prove his superiority. It's either logic riddles or running around the shuttle to see who makes the most rounds before giving up. Which one shall it be? So I think my guy's... Oh, he's clever. I thought he was strong. Maybe he lost strength because he's so weak. I guess. Oh, I should... Uh, we don't have enough stuff for soup, do we? I'm to recycle. No, I was upgraded to five. Yeah, hopefully we get food for soup very soon. Um, because this is our last batch of soup. Food for soup? That's not the word. You know what I meant to say though, right? A contest of logic puzzles against an automaton was risky, but you won. All it took was applying some lateral thinking. Your opponent just couldn't wrap his circuits around it. The robot took his defeat graciously and thanked you for the entertainment as he was leaving. Too bad we didn't take bets. Captain, you've brought an unlicensed gun aboard my ship. Well, your ship, I guess, and your gun. So be it. Magetta's still weak. Uh, I upgraded the stereo communicator. Oh, I, I can now create a stereo communicator. I'm getting quite hungry, Captain, and... Again, doesn't need much. Okay, so I need old space juice. We need one more space juice. What can I? Mm, I don't want to to do the lighter. Oh, did I use space juice for atomic battery? Maybe we can survive one more turn, and then we can make some space juice, and hopefully she comes back with more. So, what's our alert, Captain? Don't alert Megan, but something got the drop on me. It appears to be some kind of droid, it just activated. A webbed sack on its back carries flotsam, metal scrap, bits of plants, and other oddities, including something which looks like a skull. It's extending its grip to open the airlock. Shall I secure the outer airlock door and deny the robot entry? No, I would like some metal scrap bits of plants. I'm hoping it doesn't kill Megan, but chances are it will. Uh, is anyone, like, stressed? No. Okay. Let's go then, my guys. April is the chick that's on the thing, and she should baby back this one, maybe? No. Despite the little droid's creepy approach, you decided not to secure the airlock. I must admit I was dubious about a course of action, but the machine turned out to be quite the resource. Once inside, it fluttered about gathering up dusk, metal shavings, and detritus it whirred a little, and then out of its other end popped little orbs of material, one of which was a ball of edible organics, a snack. It finished cleaning up and left while you both sat munching its robo-poop. Megan is still in poor health and no one's hungry. Okay. I was hoping for, like, crafting stuff. But that is also functional. Um, should I recycle the artifact? I think I should. I think I should recycle the artifact and hope for soup. Let's get this soup. Captain, there's something we need. C uh, Captain, can you hear me, Captain? Ah, uh, you say, ah, uh, in these situations, right? I hate raising my volume, but that malfunctioning body odor removal filter is making a racket. I think it's malfunctioning. That's what malfunctioning means. Let's give the super duper tape 
another world and end the day. I fixed the body odor removal filter by replacing the worn out screws with tape. The cabin no longer smells of unwashed astronauts. Everyone on board could think clearer without that constant din drowning out every thought. April returned from her library excursion quite exhausted, probably from all the heavy reading. She isn't particularly hungry. I judge her mental state to be a little off. April says the library is a sight to behold. A few automatons take care of the big data collection, while some citizens visit the building to browse. April slipped off some data disks lying around and stumbled into a pitch black room. She fell a few times and banged her head. April learned something useful during the chip. When she came back, she pointed out a few things around the shuttle that we could repurpose for crafting. So we have more soup science. Um, she did not expect to stumble upon uh, upon one out there, but there it was, an old sock. Could it be ours? Who transported these outside our solar system? So strange. Anyway, April has returned bearing soup. This trip had the potential to uncover technology the Astro Citizen creators could only dream of. If only the human mind wasn't so limited. Maybe if I gave her an artifact, the library would be nice? Hmm. So after there, recycling was completed. Uh, make it as alert, you can count on how to be more productive around here. See, if I didn't recycle that artifact... I shouldn't have done it. Uh, we need another mask, so we have soup now. I'll use the mask first. What is our decision? Have you looked in the mirror recently, Captain? I couldn't help but notice that you seem to be afflicted with a rash of some sort. I hope it's nothing serious, but we can't rule out it being a symptom of a dangerous illness. You can never be too careful. I strongly suggest that you do something about the rash. I swear I'm only worried about your health. It's really not about how weird you look right now. So should I use the handbook? Medicine would work. Maybe medicine just in case. Um, I remember last time it was a sunburn, but it might not always be that. So Tom Thompson is sick. You're weak. You're hungry and tired. That's fine. You can't go on an expedition because you're tired, and I think I'm just going to leave you for expeditions. And I think that's all we can do. Let's go. Wait, no, no one's starving, it's fine. Almost got an achievement for crafty, if we craft one more thing. Hello there, Captain, you're looking very rested today. Great news, I can see that the rash you've struggled with is now completely gone. Who knows what would have happened if you left the rash untreated. It's a good thing that you found the appropriate medicine in the first aid kit. I know I kept nagging you about it, but it's for your own good. Megan appears to be still be in poor health. Uh, crafting completed. You feel vigorous, you look healthy, my data shows in a good physical state, perform their tasks significantly better. Uh, okay, so, crafting again, let's craft another medical kit. And, you're tired still, and, no, you're just starving. Um, could I send you out with food? What are these circles, huh? They're things I haven't gone to yet. Chance for rock, chance for rock and gun. Hazards are... Demons, I guess? <laughs> And, and, uh, assembly line is medicine, and we need that. So let's confirm, it's actually shorter too. April, you go for that. So I'll give you soup and mask because of radiation, even though, ma I don't know if that's how that works. Let's go for it, we're gonna die. Um, you're the only one who's starving, so that fixes an issue where, I mean, I'm feeding her anyway, but like, Captain, I see you eyeing that thing outside. Something stuck behind a rock just a few yards away. Something shiny. Shiny and probably precious. I know you want it, but you can't have it. Why not, you ask? There's going to be a meteor shower nearby. Very soon. And by nearby, I mean stay inside and watch through the window unless you want to get seriously hurt. I could tell you the odds of you surviving even a short peek outside, but let's just say they're not in your favor. Look. Tom Thomas Thompson is a risk taker. Uh, computer robot voice. So, let's go and get that shiny metal object right there, I think. I kinda don't know what to do about weakness. I think that it's just, I just wait, right? Ha! Huh. Uh, ha, huh. I see. That's not fun. Never tell me the odds, you shouted and jumped outside holding the armored vest over your head. You instantly turn around with a high-pitched scream as a small meteor fell right in front of you, causing a tiny explosion and digging itself deep into the ground. Would you like to know the odds of your survival if it was your head? Yeah, I didn't think so. April went to the assembly line building to look for some supplies, and I still feel hungry. Wait. Is it broken? They seem to be implying that I'm still here, but I'm not. I'm glad I finally convinced you to go for a short walk around the shuttle and stretch a little outside, even if you claim I forced you with my constant whining and sphere and good captain. When you stepped outside, you noticed a small asteroid coming right at you. You tried to run back inside, but it looks like the airlock snapshot. Oh, okay. 
Snap shut behind you. I need a moment to reopen the doors for you, so you need to figure out a way to deal with the asteroid yourself. Will you dodge out of the way gracefully, or grab the nearest flat and heavy rock to act as a makeshift shield? I think the shield is dumb. I think I should do agility. Because the shield probably would still crush me, because it's a shield and things are above me. So I think that's good. We have a damaged shovel. We should probably repair that. I don't know why it's damaged. But okay, um, that's good. Are you hungry? You'd be hungry, right? No. It doesn't actually say your food level. It says hunger is okay. Maybe I should feed you just in case. It's fine. If you die, you die, I guess. Right? That's what a captain should say. Am I right, guys? With an asteroid... Well, that's that's a mistake. With an asteroid is falling on your head, there's not a lot of time for precision. You tried jumping out of the way, but tripped. Sure you avoided a direct asteroid hit, but I can see you limping, Captain. Looks like you messed up a tendon or two. That's going to leave nasty bruises and might impair your movement for some time. You are very lucky to still be in one piece given the velocity of that thing. A direct hit would smear you across the ground like a tomato. Captain, the SOS single signal we received a while ago is still going strong, but I cannot predict for how long. I advise you take action soon. If you're interested in the source, if you wish to examine the source of the SOS signal, I suggest heading to the old assembly line during your next exposition. That's fine, because that's what we're doing. So, Mega needs rations, and I am starving. Cool. Only hungry. I'm starving. And hurt, but we can't make the medicine kit. So, Captain, behind you! A three-headed Rusky! Oh, apologies, Captain. I did not predict this routine the exercise would make you jump up like that and hit your head. It looks bad. You've got red on you. If you have anything to treat the wound with, I strongly suggest you use it. Tape. Tape fixes everything in this game. And... I'm hungry. Hey, I got an achievement for Crafty, for crafting 10 things. What a time. There are approximately elite possible applications for duct tape. Tending to wounds is, of course, one of them, even if it is only a makeshift dressing. I am mentally stable. Megan is alert. Megan still considers me her friend. Megan remains in poor health. April hasn't returned yet. So... We'll need to craft... Another soup, I reckon. Captain! Where are you, Captain? I can't see you. It appears we've suffered a blackout. You may wish to turn the lights back on before attempting your daily tasks. Okay, atomic battery time then. Nice. Goal achieved! Check the SOX signal at the assembly line. Send three successful expeditions on a strange new world is another goal that is achieved. The lights are back on. Turns out the issue was a dead battery. Now what should through it with those tiny razor sharp spiral teeth is a different question entirely. But as long as the lights don't go out, you'll probably see it coming, right? April returned. With, medicine, uh, with science. She looks tired, or chemicals, I guess. Well fed and shaken, she says, the assembly line is a little scary. Nobody goes there anymore. Looks like the new robots aren't manufactured in the city anymore. The place was dusty and full of toxic gases. April was a little too rough with the mask and it suffered. April picked up some components from a lab in the back. I'm sure we can find a use for it. While searching, a faint peeping sound caught April's attention. She followed it uh, to a dusty cluttered basement and along the deactivated lines to a far corner of the room. The beeping stopped as soon as she approached a rusty body of an old robot missing a head. Next to it was a small half-disassembled robot animal. Must have been some kind of mecha animal. The robots produced... The, the, bleh, must have been some kind of mecha animal the robots produced to keep them company, and this one looked a lot like a dog. A chihuahua to be exact. April brought the broken robo-dog to the ship. I'm not sure why. It's deactivated and looks like a pile of junk. Unless you figure out a way to fix it, it's just clutter, I suppose. You could use it as a paperweight. Some hours later, April found an artifact. Oh, that's time. Um, so, where does all this soup come from? It's the greatest mystery of the universe and everything. Anyway, April came back carrying rations. April says the assembly line is pretty run down and unsettling. Why do they stop expanding the population? Um, and then we've got crafting was done. Captain, we've been detecting transmissions of unknown origin for a while. They are all concerned with the ship that landed here not long ago. I did not want to alarm you, but they might be talking about us. April may die. Uh, so she's starving, she's weak, she's tired. What do I do about weak, though? Wait, weak is health, right? So I should be using... Yeah, I'll have to feed them both and medicine on one of them. Oh, it's a robot dog. It needs work. Upgrade the expedition system because we have soup now. Now, what is our choice? Captain! That's a huge construct of some kind approaching the shuttle. It's neither animal nor robot. It's made out of moving crystal lattices like a giant walking crystal saurus. Ow, that was one hell of a hit. Crystalisk is what it's called. The crystal saw is slammed in the shuttle and is currently scraping the hull open with its claws, but I don't know. I think it's trying to extract our minerals, Captain. How will you stop this? So, we don't really have another choice here. I, I keep getting things with, like, yeah, like, do the thing or don't do the thing. 
Um, you know, you can tell me in the comments what you want me to do. I imagine Gun is going to be the major one that we want to do. But yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, check out my other videos and check out my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash epicaracacy. Uh, my Twitter is Twitter is twitter.com forward slash epicaracacy. Uh, but all these links are in the description. Uh, the Twitter. You'll know when YouTube uploads come out. You'll know when streams start. So make sure to follow my Twitter because it's probably the best way to get announcements from this channel. So we'll see you in the next one. Bunny out.